Hi everybody, this is Tamara Bojo Upton and I'm just shooting this quick video um, for the mindset assignment in our Inner Power Intensive Boot Camp. And before I get into my aha moment, uh, I wanted to tell you something that happens to me where like my feelings are always on my face. Where like if somebody comes up to me and says something completely idiotic, my face will give them my WTF. Like, you know, I it's like an instant reaction or if I'm surprised by something, you know, it's instant. And so that's been kind of a challenge for me to really examine my facial expressions and um, be able to, I guess, decipher whether it's coming from a true emotion or if it's, if I'm making a face um, deliberately you know, like, because I want to look a certain way, you know, and I have kind of a background in modeling. So, <laughs> um, being told, you know, make a face like this, or like you, did you see the, um, the movie Napoleon Dynamite where the, the girl is telling the guy to, to imagine that you're, um, surrounded by little baby seahorses and, and like his face, like his smile just kind of changes a little bit. Like, um, so, so thinking about all that and really kind of experimenting with, with my emotions and my reactions to what people are saying. And I mean, even trying to control my expression when, when somebody says something that affects me, that's been a challenge. <laughs> so it's something I need to work on. But tying into my aha moment, um, it comes down to decisions and really dissecting the reasons behind why I do certain things, like why, um, why I make a decision to do something or not. And this is something that a lot of people outside of this experience don't understand. Like when I take a break from certain commitments and, and say, you know, I don't have time for this. And their initial reaction is, you know, what do you mean you don't have time? You don't, you don't have a day job. You don't, you know, all you have to do is cart your kids around and do this online thing that they don't even understand. <laughs> you know, like it takes up quite a bit of my time actually. And because I'm still in the, the building my business mode and so it's hard for them to understand my reasoning for not um, for not being able to commit to what they want me to do or what they expect me to do. And really being able to have control over my time, control over my schedule, and control over what I allow myself to be involved in based on what I want now, not what I think might make somebody else happy or not what somebody else expects me to do or they won't be my friend anymore. I mean, this isn't junior high. This is my adult life now. And I'm actually getting this from people like, oh, you know, I, I'm so disappointed that you're not going to do this, that, you know, I'm not going to be talking to you anymore. I'll unfriend you on Facebook. And I'm like, see ya. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I just feel like it's so important to not make decisions based on what other people think. And I've always been that way. And I, especially lately, I mean, I, wearing my feelings on my face is one thing and being honest and direct with people when they ask me to do something and say, no, I can't. That's been a really big, uh, powerful step for me, um, where it, it used to be that I would just overcommit myself. And now being able to say, no, I just don't have time. And whether, whether that's true for them or not, it doesn't matter to me. It's true for me. If I decide, no, I don't have time for that because I want to spend my time doing these things instead, then really that's all that matters. If somebody is asking you to do something that doesn't make you happy, but ex and they expect you to do that, why are they in your life? You know, why would you say, yeah, I'll do this. I'm going to be miserable, but it'll be better than 
having you not like me. Really? <laughs> no. Stop, stop caring about whether somebody will still be your friend or still like you, whether you do something or not. That shouldn't be a condition of friendship in the first place. So that's my aha moment. And I will, I'm, I'm so looking forward to the next group of assignments because I'm getting so much out of the ones that we've already done. So that's my takeaway and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>